<laughs> Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm coming. <laughs> Good morning. How did you sleep? I woke up like 10 times because of the cold. Oh no! <laughs> Bit of deja vu this morning. <laughs> Got some pasta for breakfast. Still good though. Still good? Yes! Crazy kids doing? We were gonna go that way, but it was too late yesterday, so we stopped here and now we're gonna go that way. Yeah. You want a GS there? Yep. Nice. <laughs> but Martin came from the other way. We met him actually yeah. here. We met there. See you later! See ya. Looks easy, no? It looks really super easy how they do it. Like they're just like, bam, done, you know? <laughs> okay, and then let's uh, let's see how we do it, hey? Oh God! Oh, wet gloves, wet gloves, and totally soaking wet boots. I put on a fresh pair of socks this morning, and then I put them straight into the boot and soaking wet, completely. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day 13 of us riding all the way through the UK on the lovely Tet. We're here in the southwest of Wales and we've just started taking on the Strada Florida, which is this road right here, running that way into the wilderness for I think something like, I don't know, maybe 10 miles, maybe 20 miles. It's hard to tell, but it goes on a long way that way. And this is actually one of the most well-known green lanes in Wales, the most popular. We have already seen a bunch of bikers coming down this morning. Yesterday, we saw a whole bunch of four wheel drives coming in and out of this. I am a, a little bit apprehensive, but also excited to see what's gonna happen. So let me show you on the map where we are heading today. So we are here and our route along the Strada Florida will take us to the main road around here, where we will then continue north through the wild mountains of Mid Wales. And we're joined this morning by Martin on his R1200 BMW. We met Martin actually just over there yesterday, and Martin has just taken on the whole Strada Florida with his 1200 GS and succeeded and it's still in one piece. I think he's a little bit worried about us, so actually he decided to join us. Yeah, Martin's gonna escort us this morning a little bit this way, just to make sure that we don't die. And our first hurdle this morning, I say hurdle, this is basically is a hurdle. Look at this. It might be hard to tell on camera, guys, but this rock step is like, it must be over a meter high. Honestly, this is a pretty big rock step for us on these uh, little van vans. Anyway, so we're starting the day with this rock step. I'm excited and scared at the same time. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's just do it, hey? Let's take on the Strada Florida. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how to turn my bike around here. So I'm going to do a little circle. Okay. Oh, stole my bike. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> I think your clearance might just make it. Oh. Uh oh. Oh God. <gasps> okay, go that way. Oh my God, he is a <gasps> madman. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Oh. We just stay on the grass here and just go straight up. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, Ollie, no, I think you have to rescue me here. We had just about the clearance to do this one here. Do you want me to do it? Yes. Okay. Wee! <laughs> 
Yeah, that's nice. Look, I like tires like this. No problem. So this is an interesting start. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally can't see the terrain underneath. Cannot see what's going on. Oh, there's, okay, there's a, there's a, uh, a ditch there. So don't go in there. I can feel a ditch on the left and on the right. There is quite a rut on this side. On which side? On both sides, really. I would just stay in the rut, I guess. Oh my God, I'm really deep, I'm really deep. Just keep pushing it. Yeah, that was pretty deep, wasn't it? Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god. Was this the deepest one? <laughs> See it? That's it. That's it, yep. That's good. That's good. This one's this one's not deep. This one's not deep. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So here, we don't want to slip off into the river, really. Okay. It's a little bit of a thing. Hold on a second. Oh my God. It's just going to go very, very slow. Really, really wet. Okay. So I just walked through the river to see if actually our air intake is high enough for clearance. So it was here. Here. So it's basically exactly where the air intake is. Ah. It's like here. Okay. If we were to go through it at speed, it would probably then just go through. But I don't know. It's on the borderline, isn't it? It's like here, you know. I think we have to turn around then. Yeah, I, I, yeah, because normally we still want to go all the way, way to the north of England, hey? Yeah, it's funny, it starts off so like, so like easy, look. This is like really nice here, like this is great. But the rocks here are so massive. I mean, look at the size of that. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, it goes down more, look at that. Holy crap. This bit is, is then the deepest right here. Just before the end is really the deepest, that's so annoying. So it goes up to, really up to my, up to my knees properly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Everything up until that last bit, I'm like, yeah, totally doable. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, very good. We are just testing at the moment if we can actually make it with our bikes. Yeah, I've never been along here, so I couldn't give you any advice. Okay, yeah, well, he is on a GS. 1200 but we are like here we're with our small bikes like i have no experience at all so i'm like uh oh, should we turn around i follow you guys on youtube do you ah! you've been doing well because you've only just passed your time yes yes so i'm like yeah you're amazing i'm like this man that is the deep end right there yeah. um, <laughs> if we were to get stuck just there uh, it would probably go inside the air intake, that's the problem. Yeah. Which bike are you riding? Uh, it's a Vosges, it's like a Chinese bike. Oh, okay. I think they're like four, 
4,000 pounds on the road. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's like an imitation kind of uh, adventure bike. Like the same geometry. If you put it side by side to the, uh, is it the Honda 300 Rally? Okay. It's like the yeah, it's like Oh, okay. You won't have a problem with that for sure. Martin came from the other side. He said that this is not even the deepest one. They go even up to maybe a little bit more. Some of the other bikers coming through were saying that they were, you know, up to nearly the headlights or something for some parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we will film you now going across, yeah? <laughs> Here's the big boulder here. Yeah, and if you just go straight through that, I don't think you'll hit the massive ones. Yeah. Yay! So we have decided that this river has beaten us. It's just too much on the border of being just too deep. And if this isn't even the deepest one, whoa, I mean, look at that. You did it like a pro, Martin. Did it like a pro. Honestly, look, you got the water coming up to. I think you're wet up to here, right? And if you compare that to where. Oh, look, look, look. And look, you're above our like bloody fuel tank. <laughs> These bikes are great being low because we fall over less, we can hold ourselves up. But when it comes to something like this, we're just beaten. That's it. The Strada Florida has beaten us. No! But hey Martin, at least you got to take on a few more river crossings for fun. Exactly. And looking like a badass on camera. <laughs> right, I think we better turn ourselves around and get out before we break our bikes, to be honest. Because we've got a big old trail to do. And uh, I think we need to accept when it's just too much for us. Ooh. You just went through it like ridiculously fast. <laughs> I would say go a little bit slower, my love. Easy as! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, I still like it. I love it, you know, but sometimes I'm scared. Uh -huh. Martin just said that fear is good because it saves you from getting hurt. It's probably the key, hey? Yeah. Look, I'm doing a little bit of standing up. Well, I feel really like a mad woman at the moment. Did you just stand up all the way through that? I did. <laughs> nice. Oh, no way not to go. Go, go, go. Oh. Yep. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> OK. OK, hold on. I'm coming. <laughs> God, it's quite far. Have you turned off the engine? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's fine. I'm coming. I was a little bit going too mad. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Anyway, you fell with your air intake up, which is good. Okay. I don't think he got underwater. <laughs> you were like, I don't know why I fell there, seriously. You were just like, whoa, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> it surprised me that the water went that high. Yeah. Because I was I was going into the ditch. I mean, here look, here, there is even whoa is this low. Look, look. If you were to do that uh -huh. on any of those crossings, you see, uh -huh. then your bike would be nearly 100% underwater. And that's the risk that we would be taking, you see, is that if you drop it on any of those points, okay. your bike would just float away. Let's see if it will start. Oh, God. See if the F1 light turns off. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, like a little princess. Okay, yeah, there was actually water in the exhaust, hey? Oh God! Sorry, Ewan. Okay, I'll go through. Let's do this. But I'm not gonna go gung ho like Lavi did. I'm going, going nice and easy. Woo! The next one is coming. 
coming. Oh my god! <laughs> Tony, crack him over You got it? How did you do that? Look my brake lever. It's just a little bit bent. <laughs> I think it's probably still fine. I mean, if you see my gear shifter, it looks the same. And now down this big rock step again. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> nice. <laughs> There we go guys, we've made it back to camp where we started. <laughs> Levy, did you just go ahead? Yeah. Bloody hell, that's bouncy. This is the tiny little stream where I fell off yesterday. Oh, <laughs> I mean, come on. Like this is like the smallest little stream ever. Come on, Ollie! How did I slip off there? No idea. There we go, back on tarmac. We just about survived this one, hey? This whole valley area, it's all just spectacular around here. What a lovely area. Wow, that's so pretty here, seriously. Yeah, pretty and also very easy to ride. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. A little bit of variation is nice sometimes, isn't it? Look at that view. It's like the highlands of Scotland here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, we go with the dumps we got on. We've got a couple of mics from there. You're watching the latest series? Yeah. Yeah. You get it when peace is doing. Yeah. I dropped it today already. So Martin just told me that this is the lonely phone box. <laughs> it's written on in Welsh at the top. Nanti main. It looks like a proper Royal Mail box. Like, I think if you put a letter here, it would actually go somewhere. We finally made it out of the wilderness. We're here in the lovely little village of Trigarin. Let me check what's happening with my boots. Just trying to dry some stuff out in the sun. Anything drying? I'm drying. Nice. Just don't get my feet in the background. Eh? Oh, I've just got your, <laughs> I've just got your feet. <laughs> so Martin just bought us some, some nice apple juice. Nom, 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 you nom. say this is local apple juice? This is what they told me. At least don't quote me on that one though. It says Exeter. It's Lovelish. local from UK. <gasps> there you go. Well, it tastes very, very sweet and nice and refreshing. Oh, lovely. The right thing we need now. Yeah, after a very, very, very hectic morning, it's nice to have a little sit down in a nice little village. All right, that was a lovely little coffee break. Nice little rest after a crazy trail, but it's time to get back on the crazy trail. Oh wow, look at this little village. This is nice. But anyway, we've got 
lots more trail to ride. So Martin's just going to be joining us a little bit down the road and then he is going to be heading back to his home in Chester and we are going to be continuing our way on the trail. It was really, really nice to meet you on the trail. Thank you very much. You enjoy, please stay safe. Yeah. See you. Bye bye. Oh, we're herding a lamb. Bye bye lamb. So we are officially back on the Tet. We made it now all the way around the really, really difficult off-road section. And it was so nice to hang out with Martin, talk to him and just see him riding as well on this big bike. I mean, it's just insane. Yeah, we were like almost exact opposites when it comes to the bikes. I mean, these little 125s that weigh like under 120 kilo and then his RS1200, one of the heaviest bikes on the market. But man, he could take on some kind of terrain with that bike. I was really impressed. Yeah, me too. So yeah, but we are back on trail and we desperately have to make some distance <laughs> we say the same thing every afternoon we're like <laughs> we've messed around enough in the morning now we have to actually get somewhere yeah we really have to get somewhere otherwise we will be on the tet in 10 years we've got a scottish border to get to oh. okay oh. I st did stop. Okay. Don't know what to do. He's still going. Okay. No, 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 I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Yeah. Only I, I don't, I don't think that I can do that. I mean, this hill is like ridiculously big. I did hurt my foot a little bit. I don't think it's too bad, but it's it's. Uh, I hurt it a little bit. You have to ride this bit if you if you want, because I I can't I can't ride this bit. Okay. Ride my bike up to where you are, and then I can try again. Three, two, one, go. go. Mm. Okay. This is a really steep hill. I think I'm just not advanced enough to do like some steep hills like this. Oh. No, you can just go and I will walk. God, it's so steep, this hill. It's really steep. Like this. <laughs> yeah. I have to get the momentum, otherwise I can't do it. I don't have momentum anymore. Yeah. I think we can literally can't get up this hill. Maybe if you just give me a quick push to get started, just to get that first bit going and then I keep going. Three, two, one, go. I have to, we have to turn it around. Like that. That's it. Okay. Just hold the back brake going down, yeah? Like this, keep the back brake on and I will have to turn around as well and just come back down again. Yeah, I mean on my bike with the momentum I was able to just keep going up the hill. But with your bike I couldn't get the speed up going, got enough. There's too much of a hill. You've got your glasses here, hold on. Okay, they're okay. Flying eyes sunglasses by the way guys. Amazing pair, look at that. Withstand anything. 
That's all right. This is just a day of finding out the limits of this bike, isn't it? Yeah. This is a day where we find out what the van van can't do. <sighs> yes, there's my bike. Oh, bloody hell, I went far up this hill. <laughs> this is a ridiculous hill. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can turn this around. Come on. Come on, front wheel. Off you go. Good. We're halfway there. Okay, front wheel. Back you go. Okay. And again. Nearly there. Okay. All right, time to cruise back down again. We made it down in one piece, sort of. But guys, seriously, if you can see up there, this is where the trail has taken us. And at the beginning it was fine, it was actually quite nice, but suddenly it got so steep, like this. I am a little bit sad and disappointed that I just not kept going, you know. I hesitated and then I fell over and yeah, it's a little bit of a pity. Let's see maybe the next hill. Whoa, guys, look at this train. Wow, cool. Hello. Wow. So it's now just past five o'clock and after a day of total craziness, it is time for us to find a camp for the night. So we've had a look on iOverlander and there seems to be a really cool wild camping spot coming up at a reservoir which is six miles ahead on trail. I don't know, it looks pretty promising, but we're gonna go check it out and see if there's a place for us to camp. Here we go, we're going to be crossing the dam here on the reservoir. Look, we've got a lake on this side and a valley on this side. Cool. So the area on iOverlander is coming up just in a minute. And I'm not exactly sure where they mean to camp, whether they mean just sort of here on the side of the road or, or maybe down at the beach. If there's a way down to the beach, that might be cool. Okay, so we've had a little look around the reservoir and the best place we can see so far is basically that beach down there. There's a little track that runs along and then up to the road just over there where that car is. It is a little bit steep at the beginning but after that it looks absolutely fine to get down to the beach and we can see there's other tyre tracks down at the beach so other people have been up and down that little pathway. So we reckon that's probably the best spot that we can come off this road a little bit, pitch our tent down at the bottom and have a nice night by the reservoir. Lavi's a bit apprehensive about getting down the hill because we faced quite a lot of hills today, hey? Let's go up to it and then we'll see what it looks like, okay? Okay, okay so this is the little track and this is the last bit which is pretty steep but after that it flattens out quite quickly. Have a little look. It's just that little last bit and with a bit of a run up I think we could easily make it up there. I'm just going to roll down. Shall I give it a go? Before you come down, let me go down to the beach and just make sure that I can get all the way down, yeah? Okay? okay? Even if we have to take the bags off and then just like, just like run it up, I think it's not that bad. All right, let me check this out. There we go. <laughs> That was a little bit scary. Oh yeah, there we go, look at that. Nice. Right, 
Let me go get Lavi's bike. Okay, so we decided that before we bring Lavi's bike down here to the beach, we're gonna do a test run and see how hard it is to get my bike back to the road because I've got more knobbly tires than Lavi does. So if my bike struggles to get up that hill and back to the road, then Lavi's bike basically has no chance. I'm gonna take the gear off the bike just to make it the lightest possible. And then I'm just gonna do one big run up all the way back, see if I can make it up the hill. After walking back up there, it looks really, really steep. <laughs> Could be a challenge, or maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe I'll just go up all in one go, nice and easy. No problem. <sighs> okay, wish me luck, guys. Let's do it. Nearly made it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You okay? We're nearly there. We're like 90% of the way. One, two, three, push. Okay. One, two, three, push. Wait a second, let me get it up on the wheels. Okay. Wait, let me a second, let me get it on the wheels. Okay. Okay, let's straighten up the straighten up the handlebars. Yeah, there we go. Right. We did it. Thank you. I was wondering whether we'd get back up or not. Ah, the chain fell off. That last bit was like basically impossible to get up. Yeah. <laughs> I think we probably won't bring your bike down. <laughs> All right, let's pop that chain back on. Anyway, thank you for your help picking it up. So apparently we can make it up, but only just about, so definitely not taking Lavi's bike down there. So I think we're gonna find an alternative spot just next to the road, just over here, just to be on the safe side. Otherwise, tomorrow we might have two bikes stuck down there by the lake. Look at this. Wow, drive it off. That would be a nice camp spot here. Wow. Nice. Beautiful area. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Happy and alive. Happy and alive. Oh, I'm not wearing my happy and alive. I'm wearing my Overland t-shirt. By the way, guys, this t-shirt is available on our Etsy store, link in description. So pick one up to support us. And to look super cool. And to look super cool. But yeah, we are here up on this hill above the reservoir. Look at this view, guys. What a spectacular spot for the night. It was a bit of a mission to figure out where to go and Maybe I had a bit of a stupid idea to think that we could go down to the lake. Hi guys. Wow. Oh, <laughs> one just pooped. So anyway, yes, we have a beautiful spot here for tonight. I think it's gonna be a spectacular night. Super peaceful here. We've barely seen any cars going by. It looks like it's gonna be a comfortable night. Yes, it was a little bit of a depressing day not making it through the river crossing first and also not making it up the hill. Yeah, I think it was a day of finding out what the limits of these bikes really is. Or maybe the limits of us, I don't know. But we really tried, like I really tried to get Lavi's bike up that hill and I just couldn't do it. It just wasn't going. Pushing ourselves to the limits today. We also have a bit of a failure over here as well because uh, I turned on the computer ready to import all of this camera stuff, all the footage from today. And uh, the keyboard's not working. Can't really import any footage at the moment. Actually, I can't really do anything with the computer at the moment, which is kind of a disaster because we really need this to like edit the next episode for you guys. So we're gonna have to go to a cafe tomorrow, get some power, plug this in and search online for some like resets we can do. See if we can reset the computer and get it working. But on my end, it looks quite nice. I set up my little kitchen area here and we have chicken mushroom flavored pasta tonight which looks actually quite good like i'm super excited to try it out the best that the bp petrol station can offer so as you can see we made a really nice camp here and we will just enjoy our dinner now and then we will jump straight into bed because it was a long and tough day 
And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.